everyone. This is Podcast for Class. I'm your host, Kate Stepanyuk, and hopefully my audio class is the audience. Congratulations with publishing the first episode of your podcast. Did I say the first? Yes, spoiler alert. You'll have to do another episode in several weeks, so you'll have a second chance at proving yourself. I am curious, how did you enjoy the podcasting experience? You see, some people think that after their episode is published on a hosting platform, they are done. They can finally breathe. Others assume that if they've promoted it on social media, then they're completely done with it. Both of these categories are missing a very important component that every podcaster should consider. Post-production research. Why is it important and should podcasters invest their time in doing post-production research? My answer is yes, yes, and did I say yes? To get a good understanding of how successful your show is, you should do a comprehensive post-production research. Looking at the good points of your show and learning from the weak ones is going to help you improve and become a better podcaster. What are some things you should look at? Check out the stats for your episode. Did you get the number of downloads you were hoping to get? If you didn't, what is the possible reason of that? Maybe you didn't send an email to all your contacts and inform them about your new show. Or maybe you didn't market it enough on your social media platforms. What if you did a poor job on recording and editing it? You know, these are some things you should look at when it comes to post-publishing research. They are extremely important for the future of your podcast. Public relations professionals believe evaluation to be key in any campaigns. Did the outcome align with your primary objective? What are some additional steps you should take to achieve those objectives? Quite honestly, the evaluation phase is an ongoing process. Even though I am on episode 11 for Podcast for Class, I still go back to my first projects. Why? I want to analyze their effectiveness. Was there something I could have done differently to reach a better result? You should always have these questions in your mind. To make post-production evaluation even more practical, reach out to friends and people you trust, let them listen to your show, and ask for their honest opinion. Did they like it? Was anything in the show confusing or misleading? Ask them how you did on enunciation and voice tone. Pay attention to their input, and if there are things that can be improved, go ahead and apply them. I've got a great friend who's been listening to every single episode of Podcast for Class. She'll be probably listening to this one too. Friend, you know who you are. Thank you for taking the time to listen and to give me feedback. It's been extremely helpful. A second route you can take is to talk to a professional in the field. Reach out to someone you know that could give you their most objective insight on your shows. Now, it's extremely important you approach their analysis with professionalism. Don't take anything personal. If there is space to grow and improve, go ahead and apply their suggestions. And finally, you could and you should pay attention to what your audience says on social media. If you get a positive interaction, it means you've been successful with your show. If there is no interaction, then it's either because your product is poor or you didn't promote it well enough. How would you figure this out? Post-production research is the secret. I've actually been waiting to say this phrase the entire episode. Okay, are you ready for this week's assignment? Go back to the episode you completed last week. Do some post-production research on it and identify what could you have done differently to end up with a better show. What are some additional steps you should take to reach your expected objectives? This was Kate Stepanyuk with Podcast for Class. I look forward to having you as my audience again next week when we'll talk about duties and responsibilities of a radio programmer.